The moment in my life when I decided that I wanted to deal specifically with heart rhythm disorders was when my father died from complications of atrial fibrillation. Uh, I felt that there was a void in terms of treatment, particularly for this type of arrhythmia, and therefore I've spent a lot of my time during uh, medical school and during my fellowships learning uh, about basic arrhythmia mechanisms, how these arrhythmias develop, and also ways of treating these types of arrhythmias. And we've come a long way in my field of electrophysiology uh, within the last 10 years where we did not have a potential curable treatment for atrial fibrillation, whereas now it's become quite routine to treat atrial fibrillation with catheter ablation techniques. I think for the patient who is worried about palpitations they're having, if they're having associated chest pain, shortness of breath, or they pass out, that's a very potentially very serious associated symptoms that should be evaluated by a physician. I love my job as a physician because there's not too many professions where you can, on a daily basis, actually help people and help people to feel better. One of the most important things in life, and I think as people get older, they realize that the health is the most important thing. And I think it is, it is very rewarding, um, although somewhat selfish, um, but I get a lot of fulfillment just from having someone come back to me after I've done a procedure and just say, I feel well, I'm good. I don't need thank you, I just need to hear I feel well. And, and, and I was a part of that, that makes me feel good.